Friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. All right, catch up time. Stephen and I did a casual kind of fish yesterday, uh, pretty gentlemanly hours, and we just went to see a, a small little river that he knows of, a really pretty little thing, but it was just very little out. I think we saw three fish all day. We only ended up with one by the end of the day and Stephen managed to catch that one. Anyway, so I've left Stephen, heading back over towards Dean, and on my way, I just thought I'd stop in at a river, a couple of spots, and just kind of poke my nose around, see if I can find something. And I found a couple of fish along an edge. One of them is a very good fish, but it's overcast, no backdrop. So now I'm down in the river, very hard to see. But I'm gonna give it a go anyway. I'm gonna take my time, I'm gonna set up, talk you through what I'm using. We'll see if I can do this like slowly and properly and see if we can wangle out one of these fish. So I'm gonna use a six weight. Helios 3, six weight F. Popeye in the olive. You know where I'm going with that, olive and Popeye. Just a great rod in the five weight and the six weight. It's my favorite rod. On there, I'm gonna chuck on the Mirage LT size two reel in the dark olive. On there, as you know, if you watch these videos, is the Scientific Angler's Amplitude Infinity Smooth Camo Line in the six weight. Uh, then loop to loop to that, we've got a seven foot floating poly leader down to a tippet ring, and I'm building my leader off of that. From the tippet ring, I've got about five, six, seven feet of three X, by the looks of it. It's a bit banged up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this again. Do it properly, I don't know what's happened to this probably been smashed around the last time I fished it so it's probably in reality going to be my only shot of the day so might as well do all this properly so I'd be gutted if I actually hook one of these fish and it busts off because I was too lazy to retime my leader so I'll take this excess line here I'm going to throw this in the trash dash which is getting a bit full so I will sort that out tonight when I get where I'm going. So then if you can see, that's my tippet ring. I'm gonna grab some 3X, and we're gonna use a double Davy knot to attach my 3X to my tippet ring. Don't know what a double Davy knot is, but you wanna know how to tie it, I will link a video up here, and you can go check that out. It's a great knot, I love it. Changed my, changed my fishing life. Tag ends in the hip pack, and we're gonna go five, seven feet, seven feet 3X. I'm gonna add 4X, go about an arm's length of 4X, and we're gonna use, a, I use a blood knot for these, but uh, whatever knot you have confidence in, I would say it's the knot to use. So again, the hip pack. Now, judging by where those fish were, I think what I'm gonna do is dry drop them. We're high in the water, and I feel like size 14 tricky situation, and something underneath it is the way to go. Nice and subtle. Again, double day, we're not tag ends in the hip back, crush that barb, what I think about it. And again, off the bend of the dry fly, I'll do a double Davy knot with some more borax. This is an absolute supreme fluorocarbon from Scientific Anglers. It's just great stuff. So that's all I've done, look. It's just straight off the bend of my dry fly. And I'm gonna go about arm's length, I think, and something small. Like a size 16, something or another. Size 16 pheasant tail thing. I actually tied this fly, so you know it's basic. <laughs> Take ends and hip back. And that's what that guy looks like. Cool. A little bit of lube on the dry fly. And then we'll try and find these fish. It's going to be so hard to see from down here. It's where it's really helpful to have a buddy. But um, we'll just go slow. Got an idea where they are, so... Hopefully that's good enough. All right, so that's that's what I'm going with. That could change. That's what I'm going with. All right, let's try and find these fish. So 
creeping along like uber slow and then just hopefully I can spot at least one of these fish I think I've got a little ways to go yet I try not to make any noise on these rocks because they are tuned in to rocks like moving, falling, banging I think they're about here but the first two are and there's a third one further up and that's the one I would really like to catch that looks like a very good fish uh, yeah I can see one and I think I can see two I think I can definitely see one I'm pretty sure I ate that. I don't really know what happened there. Drift was good. I think I saw the fish move over, dry fly went under, and then I just struck and there was just nothing there. I'm pretty sure that fish is gone. I'll go back up to the bank and see, make sure, but it wouldn't have been the bottom or the rock, so I don't know. I don't know why it wouldn't have been there. Too slow, maybe. He's definitely gone. That was him. Wow, oh, that sucks. Oh well, you get that on the big jobs. Yeah, old mate on the inside still there, so I'll have a go for him. See if we can do any better. Can't do any worse. That's where he was previously. I think he's moved out to the left. That's going to be good. That's perfect if he's still there. Right there. What the hell? zone out there. Let's go and have a look and see if he's still there, aren't I? He's still there, so he's either seen the fly and he doesn't want it. Or he's not seeing it. Either way, I'm gonna do a fly change. So it's just a little bit heavier. Tag ends in the hip pack. That's perfect. Got him. Nice. All right, baby. Let's see if we can keep you down here. To not mess up that other fish. Guess you just wasn't seeing it, right? Here we go. Ah, oh, it's pretty. There's a pretty fish. Pretty, pretty brown. Come on, bud. We can go this way, that's fine. That's fine. All right, uh, uh, uh. Into here, please. Yeah! Woo! That's what 
game, that's what we get. It was worth the time, it was worth the effort of just taking it slow. I definitely missed that first fish, and then that fish was on the inside and moved out and took the place of the second fish. No, that fish was on the inside and moved out and took the place of the fish that I missed. Um, took me a fly change. I just don't think he was seeing it. He was down a bit deeper. I don't think he was seeing it, so it's why I took a few, a few casts and a slightly heavier fly. But that's beautiful. I mean, I'm made up, man. That was, that was great. Got it done, a beautiful fish. Worth dropping in here and doing it. And also worth taking the time after a couple of drifts, uh, I'd come back up here and I'd look back down, make sure the fish was still there, go back down, do my thing, rather than just casting and hoping he was still there. And if you've got a buddy here who could stand up here and talk to you and tell you what he's seeing, that's easier. But sometimes when you're on your own, it's worth just actually doing things properly. And if you're not sure, stop fishing, drop down, come up, have a look, recalibrate what's going on and go back down, try again. Uh, it's a bit of a pain in the butt, but it is worth it as that proves. So I'm going to have a drink and then I'm going to creep up and see if that front fish is still there because that was a tank. Okay, sun is out. I just saw him. He's out a bit white. Oh yeah, there he is. It's pretty good. Right on line in the zone. Got him. Got him. Oh, that's a different fish. He's not the guy I thought he was. Oh, old boy. Come on, buddy. Let's get you in and away. Come on. Come on, come on, gotcha, look at that, that cool big old head, long body, bit skinny but very cool fish. Big old boy. That's a different fish to the one that I saw in that spot earlier. But the fish that I thought that was, was a much bigger fish than that. And a younger fish too. So I don't know where he went. Uh, but that was cool, that was satisfying. Just waiting for the sun to come out so I could just about see. And um, yeah, it was worth it. So again, just being patient, not rushing, taking your time. On that, I swear, you may have noticed me wearing these Smiths, Sunnies, more recently in fact that's all i've been wearing especially these low light lenses that i'm wearing i tried my buddy uh, mike's uh, at the end of last season and i put them on and i was just blown away about what a difference they make so um so yeah pretty much after that i switched over to smith sunnies and it was basically because of these lenses like they were literally a game changer if you're in the market for some new sunglasses i would definitely recommend these low light lenses from smith's and I just wear them all the time. Low light, lots of light, some light, they're super cool. Just thought that was worth mentioning because, you know, especially on these days which is glary, hard to see, low light, you know, the sun's coming out a bit now, but it's been overcast the whole time. These things really, really, really make a difference. Oh. 
<laughs> Look at this girl. Hey, hey. Got him. Yes. Oh. So I had a look along and had a little couple of soft edges, but really no more really good water on this little spot that I found. So uh, this worked out perfectly. I was really kind of not expecting much, you know, just dropping in and just kind of having a look along that one little spot. Didn't expect to see much, but hey, saw plenty of fish, caught three, had a good time, spent three or four hours just kind of messing around. It was great. Sun's out, it's beautiful, it's warm. Things are good. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment in the comment section below and all that good stuff. Have yourselves a great weekend. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.